previously on the Benson and Bailey show. Bailey, can you pretend you're blind again? You drove better. Looks like it's going to get dicey in there. It's a big old orange blob. That is one big old orange block. I mean, I'm hunted. So and we can't see in there. No. <sighs> right. Careful, because one of them could be Cerebro. Yep. Can it be Cerebro? I think they... Like in a... Oh, 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 yes, oh, like, oh, like oh, in oh. X-Men. Oh, I love how you knew where I was going with that. Because it's the only other Cerebro you know of. No, it's Cerebral Cortex. Yeah, but that's not Cerebro, is it? No, but I mean, you know, it's the same thing. Sniper in that tower, or...? Yep. I haven't found a hole in the fence yet. It might... Got eyes on a mounted weapon. It might be that we need a vehicle to get in through that doorway. Because we are highly trained US soldiers. Best of the best, Bailey. None of us best fought of to, the best. None of us fought to bring any fucking wire cutters to get through a wire fence. Bro, I've got a massive backpack full of stuff. I've probably got wire cutters in here. I just can't be asked to pull them out because we're busy. I'm dressed as a fucking predator. Kill confirmed. I thought they didn't go through the fence then. I thought you just oh. shot the fence. It was really more amusing when it said kill confirmed as well. I killed the fence and it was confirmed. Yeah. Where's this bloody jammer? I think, am I now coming up to it? No, that's not a jammer. Oh, hello. Found a hole in the fence yet? Oh, no. Ooh. I was being spotted. Ah. I mean, I'm, ah. Still, I'm still hunted. Can I get up at all? They've really, uh. Whoop. They've really made sure to seal this one off. Yep, just a bit. Whoop! Don't you spot me, you swine. Oh, hello, I found the gap. Good man. Now we gotta figure out which of these blobs is Cerebro. Ye old, do not take. Ooh. F Ooh. Is that Cerebro? Come on. I can see him. Well, I can see a man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yes, I noticed that. I'm spotting another tango. My biggest concern is if we alert everyone, Cerebro will just book it. Yep. not working. We're being jammed. I was trying to find out where the jammer is by setting up a drone and trying to catch anything in the wiggly lines. I'm creeping through the vegetation. Not quite sure if my jelly suit is actually helping or not. A yeah, I don't know which one to try and shoot. That's the problem. I need to try and take people out at the same time. I've got diversionary laws that might attract them somewhere. Ooh. That'll help. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's in there. Shit, they saw me. I just hit a guy Ooh, and I don't know good how. Burn. Oh, for fuck's sake. Move, 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 move. You're miles away from me, so if I go down, that's going to be a problem. You are literally right behind me. Yes, because I just ran there from when I was saying that. Ah, okay. You, cock. Stand up, you prick. Oh. Another guy. Mark him, please. Oh, stupid thing. I'd oh, be careful of all you sticking your head out. Second target, right there. Oh, he's a bit close to Cerebro. Yep. 
trying to get an angle so I can get the ones at the bottom. Hey, where, the, where are the ones at the bottom? Like the very, very far. Oh, stop pulling that jammer. Use your buckles. Fool. Probably, I think they're in the. No? They might be in the building. Cool. So I'm going to try and sneak forward. I don't like it when it says, well, the map makes it look like they're right in front of you. Yeah, that is a, a bit toss. I'm behind you. Right. Is there a change no shoulder button? Uh, There was. I can't remember what it was, though. <gasps> That's not LB! No, that's a grenade. It's RB. Hey, we still have the element of surprise. Somehow. Wow, five. <gasps> Skill points. I went the wrong way. I mean, I'm taking a very ludicrous route to get to where I'm trying to go. Found the jammer. <laughs> Creeping up to Cerebro. Hopefully he doesn't just run in front of me. Fingers crossed. At least there's two helicopters out there as well. There's another enemy in here with Cerebro. Can you come and help? I think I got him. So, is there, is there right, that I've got Cerebro. higher risk? Right. Bailey, secure a helicopter. Yep, on the way. Do you have to like have a limit on how long you can hold him, or no? No, I've got him. Good. But I think reasonably, considering we've got two helicopters here, that's the best way of getting out. Yep. Right. Don't sweat it, guys. My cousin's a night stalker. Oh, I'm being spotted. Sto, 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 X. Hmm. Right, I'm in. Alright, good. Don't go too high in case there's anti-air. Oh yeah, shit. And take that, you bastards! I only got shot several times. You know, she always keeps tabs on me, even when she thinks she's ignoring me. I'd prefer you didn't. But I've almost cracked this. You know how cold it is underwater? The issue of chemical binding? Not an issue. It ought to be easy to find monoethanol, I mean, in Bolivia, right? It's just an issue of scale. Can I call Nidia Flores? She's probably busy, but she won't mind. She knows me. We're close. What am I talking? Are you scrubbing? No, no, no. I thought that said anime scrubbing. Wouldn't leave room for any people. So I thought it said. I want suspects for a Colombian submersible that just had a breathing tube sticking out of the surface of the water. Imagine. Oh, trying to make sure I get it nice <laughs> and. Are you alright? Yeah, yep, there you go. Oh. That was quite terrifying. I didn't want to. <laughs> exactly, that's why I was trying to get it just right. Keep that you have a look at this, man. Uh, yep. Cool, I haven't seen him yet, so. He's, carry on. he's supposed to be a genius. This is going to look like a great cutscene with the Predator. <laughs> Maybe yep. you'll be looking for me. Good, because we're looking for her. They say you've got a good brain between those ears, camarada. Now that you're up Shit's Creek without a submersible, you may have figured out that you need me to help you, and I will, once you help me. Huh. Forgive me for asking, but what do you think this is? Compelling? Dramatic? The rocks here have been around for centuries, long before you were a gamut in your father's testicle. And they'll be around long after you've gone back to the dust. Do you understand? These rocks have more significance in the universe than you do. And your high and your hypocritical war on rocks. Hmm. Are you taking me to Nidia or are we waiting for her? Do you not understand that I will lock you up in prison? 
where tattooed neo-Nazis will use you as a human pincushion for their dicks. Nice. <laughs> the problem I mean, not nice. Ba bad. Very bad. Matters. Anal rape, cocaine, murder. It's all nonsense. Do you think the Jaguars waste any concern on how they feel? Or that the rabbits they eat contemplate the name of God? Meanwhile, you're still lying to yourself, convincing yourself that you make a difference. So nothing matters to you, El Cerebro. El Cerebro? I am not a Cerebro. El Cerebro slipped through your fingers before you even knew he was there. He is quite simply gone, as though he never existed. Interesting. We've got the wrong man! Spoilers. You literally just said it. How is it a spoiler? Looks like El Cerebro planted I'm still in the cutscene. Are you? I thought you were the same... Yeah. How are you not no, going at the same, the same speed? Time. Weird. I have to enter the room after you. I've now got it. Lamb, basically. Damn, that's some next level supervillain shit right there. Either way, we put the cartel submarine right. fleet out of business. It could take years to get that program running again. It's weird well, that you didn't get it at the same time. Trails cold for now. Oh no, because I have to walk into the room and I was too busy collecting ammo, and, and then I actually pulled up, accidentally pulled out my drone. <laughs> of course, you accidentally pulled out your drone. Yep. There's a video on my screen. I'm not going to watch it. Nope. Right. So that's have helicopter. So that's. Let me figure out our next move. Well, Bailey, it appears we only have one three skull area left to do. Bavechos. It is indeed Bavechos. So let's set us there as a place to go. All right, I'll be a passenger this time. You're going to passenger? Okay. Yeah. As we both run over the hood of the helicopter. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Right, how do you fly this thing? Will I be going through any unwanted areas? Nope. I can hear alarms going off in the helicopter. I'm... Mm, I mean, that's whatever you did, man. Uh, we have, um... No, you need I couldn't give a shit. Good to know. And as always, it's a lovely day in Bolivia. Bolivia. Could be worse, could be in Argentina. Hey, have you heard about their new Prime Minister? He's a crazy man. He is a crazy man, but there's a lot of places currently voting crazy people. Yes, we'll see how, the world is we'll see how well that goes. Because the, yeah. the man in Argentina is very crazy. I saw a clip, and I don't know if it's real because I don't watch the news, but it's a clip of the news, of <laughs> a woman being interviewed on the BBC who said the great thing about it as a democracy is you can change the laws to suit the democracy, like Italy and Germany did in the 1930s, and then immediately goes, and some good ones too, but couldn't name any. Oh, I'm just... Yeah. I'm just enjoying the view out front. So am I. To be fair, I've got a nice, like, um, a nice angle here where it's slightly off kilter. If you take the helicopter... just above the rotor. If you take the helicopter out... Well, from my view, this would look like like the beginning of a trailer going over a fantasy map. It would. And by trailer, I mean like a video screen. I don't mean like a floating caravan. I'm putting a slow panoramic on mine now, just gently holding the stick to one angle. What if I do this? I mean, it's still slightly panning around the helicopter, so oh, okay. you gain nothing. I haven't shaken up your non-existent footage. I don't know, I could quickly uh, record, like, capture it. Looks like... Well, there's a lot of clouds over there. Mind you, that's over by the snowy bit. Ah, they can stay over there. God, we're still quite a way away. I had a thought the other day how many episodes this game is going to have. Place your bets now! Because, I mean, what is... How far are we in? We're 34 minutes into this session. Oh, by the way, congratulations Wrestling. to Agent Medusa, the champion of the BBW Royal Rumble. Holding on to that particular title for at least the next year until we record another one. And then we will see who wins and what other games will be injected to have new characters put in there. Indeed. What else was I saying? I was going to say something else. No idea. 
Oh, I need to go up. I need to escalate. Accelerate. Ascend! That's the word I wanted. <laughs> He's going up. And I want the world to know. I'm looking at these roads and going, hold on a minute, haven't I crashed on several of these corners? And then taking shortcuts off of very steep cliffs. Richard? Uh, Blazeski? Blazinski? That's the guy who did Gears of War, I think. Right, yep. let's park this down so we can watch the intro video for this province. And see what evil bastard we're taking out this time. It looks like a man with a hat. Bowman, we just crossed into Barvechos. Good news. So I knew I sent an accountant named Polpo to Barvechos to check out... Oh, an accountant. Books. So scary. Polpo is a hawk. He doesn't let yep. anyone cut any corners. So whether she's skimming from Sueño or not, Nydia is not happy to have Fulpo looking into her. The cartel smuggles its profits into Barvechos from Brazil. Have you, you now a daylight? Laundered through Banco de Barvechos. With Pulpo already about to gum up the works, there has to be some way we can use that to sabotage the entire process. Maybe Sueño already believes Nydia Flores has sticky fingers. What are your trousers? Sure? We need to get hands on Pulpo. Do not diss my trousers. Our intel places his junior partner and right-hand man, a guy named Wagner, at a silver mine in Barvechos. Grab Wagner and make him cough up Pulpo's location. You got tired of your glasses. Neighborhood CIA officer just sent us a video. I mean, I couldn't see shit out of him, so... <laughs> Is the flannel shirt going to be your trademark? You know what? I quite like the flannel shirt and the uh, alligator skin style jeans. Fair enough. I'm going to watch the video. The face. Same. All the Sicarios in the world ain't worth piss if you don't have the accountants to wash the money clean. This is true. Octavio Allende is the accountant that does Sueño's laundry. Nice hat. They call him El Pulpo, the octopus, because he's got his tentacles everywhere. You take him out, a lot of other pieces no longer connect, but I want to use him as a weapon. Pulpo is management, and he knows it. Instead of an AK-47, he has a briefcase, and he uses it to open doors to businesses, to cement relationships with politicians and police. And to make the cartel's money something they can spend. Thanks to El Pulpo, in addition to its illegal enterprises, Santa Blanca has its cash in numerous legit businesses. El Sueño has brought El Pulpo to Bolivia to audit Nidia Flores. Cash from Brazil comes into Barvechos, where much of it is laundered into the mining consortium. Nidia's profits must be looking a little light. Mm. Right. Can I quickly say something? Depends on what Am it I is. the only person that thought that money laundering literally meant putting money in the laundry to clean like fingerprints and stuff off of it? I don't think you're the only one that thought that. Although I can't say that's what I thought. It was like, why would you wash money? And it's like, hold on a minute, there's fingerprints and like DNA and stuff. So like standard people put it in and then some guy in like a protective hazmat suit takes it out and then wraps it up and... <laughs> Sorry. Does drug stuff. <laughs> I just took a moment to look at what I was seeing and listen to what I was hearing. As a, a man in a flannel shirt explains accountancy to a predator. <laughs> I mean, not the strangest thing yet. Oh shit! Didn't we do that? You just fire a silenced pistol at my face. Yes. Cool. Right. It's taking um, me this long. <laughs> next time on the Benson and Bailey Show. The you thing haven't that, put up help yet. Why should I save you? The thing that there we go. The thing, 